Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time we're proud to be able to offer two awards to FBS. FBS is an international brokerage house and has been operational since 2009. FBS has a presence in over 120 countries worldwide and has over 500,000 traders. They specialize in foreign exchange and offer ECN facilities around the clock. With a high-tech operation and real-time online facilities, traders can get feedback on world market issues at any time. Operators can provide assistance in major languages for traders worldwide. In the new world of online banking, FBS offers freedom, finance and success. Global Banking and Finance is awarding FBS Best ECM Broker Asia 2015 and Best ECM Broker Middle East 2015. Public Relations Manager Elena Inyateva came to the City of London to accept the awards from Global Banking and Finance Reviews, Nolo Leary and Jessica McManigan. Elena, welcome to London and congratulations on the awards as well. Thank you very much. This is the greatest honor for our company to be there to be, uh, and for me to represent the company here in London and to receive these awards. It's a greatest pleasure for us and uh, exclusively high status for our company. Excellent. Well, welcome indeed. And of course, the two awards, Best ECN Broker Middle East 2015 and Best ECN Broker Asia 2015. What extent would you say that they are really important uh, for your company? Well, you know, this is the first time that FBS got these awards, uh, such prestigious awards, by Stacey and Broca in two regions simultaneously. And this is, of course, an exclusively high status and genuine breakthrough for our company. And, you know, um, it's uh, of particular significance that we get these awards this year that, uh, during the time of uncertainty when many companies doing business in foreign exchange markets have collapsed uh, as a result of an unexpected decision made by the Swiss National Bank. Uh, but we do not just <laughs> remain afloat, we are top of the waves. <laughs> and it comes as no surprise that FBS proves uh, to uh, show uncompromising performance in the regions marked by the awards. Um, to tell the truth, uh, the Middle East and Asia are on our top priorities for further business development under current cir circumstances. And we're amazed to see that we have already built vast brand awareness in Asia and true leadership there, and uh, are now steadily conquering our positions in the Middle East. Well, we'll come on to that in a bit more detail, if we may, in just a moment. Let's look at, at the, the world events, which are, you know, have either affected business for a good or for bad. How do you actually see uh, the, the, the coming months for the Forex business? Many of the issues that whipped up volatility last year remain unresolved, um, namely Ukraine, um, uncertainty in the European Union, um, uh, overall economic slowdown, um, unstable state of oil markets, and uh, these factors are likely to continue influencing the markets in the months to come. Um, out of uh, all the factors that affect financial markets, uh, I would personally um, uh, mark uh, the policy of central banks that has recently come to the fore. Um, and uh, um, it's, uh, it has never been seen before that uh, the currency rates uh, tend to diverge within G10 space. And uh, it's clear now that uh, the rates for the US dollar and uh, British pound are strengthening while the Japanese yen and euro are in deep decline. Um, Geopolitics is also in focus. Uh, as you know, uncertainty in Ukraine persists. Um, the, there are uh, still mutual sanctions between Russia and Western countries, unfortunately, and uh, uh, there is a pub negative public mood um, related to the um, activity of ISIS organization. It all does affect the markets as well. Um, uh, the markets are not still relieved after the uh, SNB uh, decision to pull the plug on the franc euro peg and uh, the aftermath of this event will be far reaching and of course we will see the outcome in, uh, in future. Um, it's too early to write off the, um, the importance of commodity and oil markets as well. Um, as you remember, in the second half of 2014, uh, the prices for oil uh, experienced sharp drop as a result <laughs> of excess supply. 
and uh, although in uh, the first month of 2015 uh, they um, they managed to stabilize a bit, um, it still <coughs> makes sense to keep a close eye on uh, the um, on the OPEC meeting that is about to take place in June, and also on the final decision on the Iran nuclear program. Listening to what you have to say there, one, one can see that world events really do have a huge effect on, on Forex markets. So let's look to the, the, the current trends within Forex. What would you say they are at the moment? Well, uh, you know, 2015, uh, as, uh, <laughs> as the year, the first months of which have already passed, but anyway, we still have some time <laughs> to see what is going to happen. Um, it's expected to be quite interesting and, of course, as prospective for traders as ever, um, although some cautiousness in uh, forecasts in terms of economic growth persists. Um, uh, I would say that um, changes in the market uh, that are related to constantly evolving state of uh, developing uh, countries, uh, major events that uh, take uh, place in uh, developed economies. Uh, they all create new opportunities, trading opportunities, and uh, they let traders make their tra uh, make <laughs> make their profits nonstop. Um, Forex will remain among one of the most uh, highly profitable and beneficial options this year, and. Uh, uh, it's also remarkable to see that um, taking into account uh, the crucial events that took part in the very beginning of the year, uh, I, uh, I'm implying the SNB decision, um, it predetermined the motto of the year for many forex companies, which is to find balance between wise risk management and regulatory compliance. And uh, now we see that uh, many of our indus industry rivals, uh, they uh, are striving to meet all the uh, requirements imposed by regulatory bodies. And thus the um, competition becomes uh, more fair, more honest, and uh, it, uh, it creates favorable conditions to create uh, beneficial services for our customers. Well, uh, I know that there are two areas you know, of, of main expertise for FBS, which is within Asia and within the Middle East. Let's, let's look at Asia now. Uh, a lot of success there, despite the, the toings and froings of the Asian market. Why do you think that is? Well, uh, it's uh, it's important. Uh, it's <laughs> it's impossible to overestimate the importance of Asian markets in global economy today, and we are happy that uh, from the very first years of FBS operation in the market, we were able to foresee the success of uh, this region, and. Uh, uh, although this year can uh, prove less dynamic in terms of economic growth of uh, Asian countries and especially uh, Southeastern Asia, which is our top priority in uh, business development, um, as opposed to the situation, the ambiguous situation that came about in the EU, uh, Asia will keep its good positions and uh, good, uh, good development uh, basis uh, this year as well, and uh, I, I believe in the next years as well. Um, and uh, uh, it's uh, it's good that uh, as early as uh, in 2009 we put emphasis on Asian markets and uh, came uh, uh, to develop actively on that kindly soil. Uh, today, when many industry rivals are just uh, searching for getaways in Asia, we are a well-known brand there. Mm -hmm. and, and looking at uh, the, the other opportunities for the Asian currency markets, what would you say they might be? Well, um, Asian currency market has been picking up speed um, in uh, in the recent years, and it's of course related to the um, stable and fast GDP growth uh, that uh, that is visible in uh, local economies. Um, the total number of retail investors there is increasing uh, steadily, and it gives solid grounds to suppose that this trend is about to continue in the next uh, months and years. And uh, um, uh, we are watching volatility of uh, local currencies and uh, we see that uh, many Asian currencies and, uh, for example, the Chinese Yuan are strengthening and gaining more and more popularity. So uh, we are extending the, tra uh, the, tool <laughs> the range of trading tools available at uh, FBS and uh, are happy that our traders have a chance to trade on exotic currency pairs that feature uh, Asian currencies. For example, um, even now our traders can trade on the index of Malaysia which is one of the most powerful economies uh, in uh, the region, and uh, also Hong Kong. And these two items uh, will soon not be the only two on the list. Well, obviously, uh, the Middle East is a, a very different uh, financial market, perhaps, to, to that of Asia, as you were talking about there. And congratulations on being a very successful leader in, in your area uh, within the Middle East. How have you achieved that? 
Well, you know, um, we have put emphasis on the Middle East uh, quite recently. And uh, um, I would say that this region is very, uh, very interesting, very really challenging because um, the higher life level there gets um, desire to try uh, trading and investing in within uh, local audience. Um, uh, this is the region that hosts uh, nine of the uh, world biggest uh, sovereign wealth funds estimating at $2 billion, <laughs> mm. <laughs> by the way. Um, it, it, it's also the, the region where Dubai, one of the most uh, important world financial centers, is located. So having evaluated all the opportunities that are hidden in this region, we have put uh, efforts uh, to, to come out as leaders there. And um, our, our secret is quite simple. We just try to create favorable conditions for residents of that countries. Um, taking into account the peculiarities of their mentality and also taking the best from uh, practices of doing business in the Middle East. Um, as you as you told, uh, of course, uh, the people there are quite different from from our their Asian counterparts um, because uh, they are more risk averse. Um, they expose bigger equity capital, and in most cases, they. Um, they are more experienced and have more expertise in money management. So um, it's quite challenging to uh, meet the requirements of such high profile traders. And as it's a challenge for us, we are there. And um, uh, I would say that uh, when clients' wishes are your top priority, it's uh, almost impossible to fail in any nation and on any local ground. Because uh, in fact, Forex is versatile. Well, you make it sound quite simple, but I'm sure it's not really. In fact, how do you go about attracting new uh, prospective Forex traders? Well, you know, there are plenty of opportunities uh, and secrets of online marketing that help us uh, build a, a wide, wide brand awareness and uh, wide awareness about a company and its services among the widest possible audience. But of course, it doesn't necessarily mean that they will become our active traders or that they will uh, replenish the rows of our clientele. Um, a newcomer can get involved only in case they are offered something crea uh, creatively different, something um, advantageous attractive and really beneficial uh, so um, online marketing doesn't work out very well in these cases uh, it's much better to know how to combine uh, online marketing and uh, direct approach uh, personal uh, touch you know um, so basically we uh, take part in uh, events that can uh, be of interest for many prospective traders and there we try to uh, get involved in uh, direct communication with them after that, we, of course, uh, share news about these events on our website and across uh, so, uh, mass media that we cooperate with. Um, and that's the way we, um, we balance between uh, online attraction and uh, direct communication. And uh, secondly, of course, we try to individualize our services um, because um, everyone who comes to our company and who stays there have a chance to get into direct dialogue with the company. Um, because uh, from their very first call until their last question, we try to guide and support them. Um, although these principles uh, sound quite simple, they are fundamental in our everyday work. So, so it really, it's a, it's a kind of a broad-ranging thing, adopting various techniques in different ways, because you mentioned about online marketing and so on. Um, and as I mentioned there online, wh you know, you are as an ECN, the Electronics Communications Network, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, a bit, it's complicated these days. What new developments do you intend to introduce or have you introduced uh, in the coming months to actually uh, make your service even more streamlined than it is now? Oh, well, uh, actually, we, <laughs> we have fond of uh, introducing novelties because they um, help us uh, to, to, keep up, uh, to keep our level, to um, uh, spread our activities internationally. And uh, first of all, of course, annually we uh, open uh, new offices, new branches um, worldwide because we want our services to be adapted to uh, local realities in every detail. Um, thus, uh, last year we opened uh, offices in Cairo in Egypt and in Manila in the Philippines. Um, we also believe that uh, social activity is of great import uh, greatest importance and uh, following these principles we usually take part in the greatest exhibitions uh, in uh, the events that get uh, broad uh, media coverage and of course try to create newsworthy uh, occurrences as well. <laughs> We uh, 
actually we want our traders to uh, not just um, come and trade with us. We want to create for them uh, some uh, um, exciting experience uh, to make their um, to make their investing uh, into forex markets like uh, an entertaining game. So uh, now we are busy developing a new website for our company, and uh, of course, um, as we are <laughs> as we are popular as an immensely successful broker, we could not come by the uh, most uh, recent technological innovations. And uh, we are now trying to create a, a, an eye catching space for every trader. And uh, of course, we do have some new promotions and bonuses in store. <laughs> and, um, I can say that exclusively for our viewers that uh, very soon we are about to announce a new promotion where traders themselves will be able to choose their prices. <laughs> <laughs> so you heard it here first. That's quite <laughs> exciting. Thank you for that. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> well, that's something to look forward to. Look forward to seeing the new website as well. And in the meantime, congratulations on the awards. And thank you so much for coming to London to talk to us today. It's been great. Thank you very much. Thank it was a so pleasure. <laughs>